Hey, what's going on? It's the Beard of One back at you again with a new video. Hey, so in today's video, we're going to talk about the interest rate. At the taping of this video, which is July 27, 2023, the Fed's just increased the interest rates by a quarter percent yesterday. So, I'm going to get into the interest rate hike and why, truly, why now is really the best time to go ahead and buy that house. All right, so stay tuned to the video. Alright, so before we get into today's video, let me introduce myself. My name is Maurice Murphy. I'm a local realtor here in the Jacksonville, Florida, Northeast Florida area. And on this channel, I talk about uh, helping buyers and helping sellers reach their real estate goals. And I also talk about beers. Of course, gotta talk about beers. Alright, so that's, that's nothing. But before that, one more thing. Click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for the content. And make sure the notification bell so you see when I drop a new video, all right? So let's go ahead and get to today's video. If you have not been watching the news, yesterday, July 27, the Fed's increased the interest rate a quarter percent. What does that mean? That means that it's going to be a little bit harder to buy a home of the house you may want, but I'm going to tell you why you should go ahead and still buy that home. But the first reason is, this is not the last hike or last increase for the year. Experts are stating that that's going to be another hike or increase in interest rates later this year of 2023. So that's number one, the number one reason you should go ahead and buy that house. If there's a need and you really want something, stop sitting on the fence and go ahead and buy that home. Okay, so the Feds are gonna increase the rates again, experts say, end of this year, 2023. So the second thing is, there's less competition right now in the market. Sellers have really given a lot of incentives to sell their home. Not just giving it away, but they are giving a lot of closing costs and they're being real nice, I would say, to buyers that want to buy their home. So things have really shifted from where it was 2020, 2021. You know, sellers are really being more reasonable to buyers that want to buy their home. So definitely a lot less competition because a lot of buyers, maybe be like yourself or just sit on the fence thinking that one the market's gonna crash not gonna happen or two eventually interest gonna come down it eventually will be but it's probably a, a few years from now so that's why now you should go ahead and buy that house there's the next reason why you should go ahead and buy that house as i said before prices are still staying steady the market's not crashing so for those out there who continue to say i'm waiting for the market to crash it's not gonna crash sorry it's not gonna happen here to tell you that prices are still staying steady as they always has especially here in jacksonville especially in the state of florida I cannot speak for all markets, but I know for a fact here in Florida, prices are staying steady. And sometimes a lot of places they're increasing depending on the location of where the house is. Definitely want to go ahead and buy that house because prices are still going up. Next thing is refinance. You can always buy the home and refinance it later. You may have a 5 or 6% interest rate now, but like I said, when interest rates do come back down, and why would they come back down? Think about this. Next year, what do we have? We have the presidential election. So what does that mean? The new president's probably going to want to make everything better because he's the new person in charge. He's going to want to make the people happy. He's probably going to help and he's going to probably lower the interest rates because inflation is starting to get back to where it needs to be. And he, we're going into a, um, a presidential election. And that new president's going to want to make an impact as soon as he gets into his first 100 days of being in office. So that's why I feel and a lot of experts feel that maybe a year or two, interest rates will come back down. And that's why you can go ahead and refinance at that point in time. Buying now. Now, you can buy it now or the prices are where they are and then go ahead and refinance later and just to rewind for a quick second as I talk about that competition now that the competition is lower prices still like I said they're staying pretty steady they haven't decreased a whole lot and they haven't increased a whole lot like I said depending on location now once the interest rate comes back down what does that mean competition gonna go back up and prices are gonna go back up because more people are in the market to buy a house so that's why you should go ahead and buy it now but that's less competition and you can refinance later on down the road. The fifth and final thing of why you should go ahead and buy now is because, hey, this is an investment. I mean, it's a long-term play. Stop paying rent and go ahead and buy you something to where you can make money as an investment or a long-term investment on a house. It's a great thing to have. That equity builds up because, as I mentioned before, prices continue going up. Prices are not coming down. The market's not going to crash. So go ahead and buy that home now so you can have equity down the road when you decide to sell, refinance, whatever it is you want to do you can make it happen in the home that you are. So let's go over those really quick one more time. Interest rates are going to go up again, according to experts stating that interest rates are going to increase one more time in 2023. Right now, 
you buy a home, there's less competition because a lot of buyers, maybe like yourself, are sitting on the market, sitting on the fence, and are not ready to purchase that home. Third thing is, market's not gonna crash. I've heard this from a lot of buyers thinking that the market's gonna crash. As you see, the market has not crashed, and there's no intention for it to crash. I don't see it, experts don't see it. So prices are still gonna continue going up and building more equity. Refinance, you can always refinance that loan later on down the road. Buy it now, I guess the little saying is, marry the house, date the rate. So basically you fall in love with the house and you can change the rate later on down the road to a lower rate. Last thing is, like I said before, long-term investment. It's a long-term play when you buy a house. Three, four, five years down the road, that house is gonna build equity and you can always cash it out. You can sell it, you can do what you wanna do. So it's a long-term investment that you don't wanna miss out on and continue throwing your money away to rent. So that's all that I have today. Those are the five reasons you wanna go ahead and buy. Now, if those reasons haven't convinced you, I don't know what will. So, hey, I am the bearded one. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're thinking about moving to Jacksonville or if you're on the fence about buying a house, hit me up in the comment section and let's talk, okay? So, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time.